Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for continuing to provide for us, for us as individuals and as a community. You always have done. You've brought us this far despite everything. And we believe your promise that you'll continue to take care of us in the days ahead. So please accept the gifts offered freely to you this morning as a sign of our trust in your promise and of, a, of our gratitude for your continuing faithfulness towards us. In thinking on the needs of your world, Lord, we begin simply by praising you, by acknowledging your goodness towards us and appointing your own son as the king of creation, the ruler of the rulers of the earth. We acknowledge, Lord Jesus, that every authority in this world is subject to your oversight, that they exist by your royal appointment, and that they serve the ends that you establish for them. And we confess that we believe you are working through them to realize your own agenda for us. We believe in hope. We don't yet see all things subject to your will. The world we perceive is shot through with trouble and sorrow. And we often wonder how long you will wait before setting things to right. But still in hope, we do believe that all things now are yours and that you are present in all things, making all things work together for our good. And just so we pray for, your, for the leaders you have put in positions of authority over us, for those who by inheritance, by appointment or by election find themselves in positions of power. We pray that you'd bestow upon them that humility which is the first condition of wisdom and grant to them a prevailing desire for justice, truth and peace so that under their governance we might live orderly, truthful and peaceful lives in loving service of our neighbors and in praise of your glory. We pray also for your people throughout the world, remembering especially this morning those who are suffering for the sake of the gospel, those who daily encounter opposition and persecution on account of the faith. And we pray also for those perfectly known to you and recalled now in the silence of our hearts who are suffering in body, in mind, or in their relationships and circumstances. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would give your comfort and encouragement to them all and grant to us all your joy and your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to sing once again, Beauty for Brokenness. <laughs> 